Can this fish tank convince people that it's safe to pump treated radioactive water into the sea? The Japanese government sure hopes so. This is what more than a million tons of water looks like. Think 500 Olympic-sized pools, and that's what you get in over a thousand tanks. This is water that's been used to cool the destroyed reactors from the Fukushima nuclear meltdown in 2011. The water is treated and then stored here. But now these tanks are running out of space. Japan has just been given the go-ahead to release the treated contaminated water into the sea. But it's causing a huge amount of anger and anxiety, not just here, but around the region. TEPCO, the company which runs this nuclear power plant, says there's no need to worry. They have the technology to rid the water of more than 60 radionuclides. And it happens here at the Advanced Liquid Processing System, or APS. This is where they remove all of the radioactive elements. Well, all except one, tritium, which means the water is not entirely radiation-free. The water will be diluted and the tritium will be well below international safety standards. And to prove it, TEPCO has these fish tanks inside the plant. Now, the fish is swimming in water that will be at the same radiation level as that that will be pumped into the sea. And they're closely monitoring it to see how fast they can flush it out of their system. Now, the science may be sound, but this does very little to reassure Fukushima fishermen who say that the reputational damage they'll suffer is going to be like a second disaster to them.